My biggest issues right now is still insomnia. Um, you know, you try the uh, the new brain and nerve formula. You could do the, I don't know if you've tried, Bo, the uh, glandulars for the uh, uh, pineal gland. You might try that. We've seen it work real well in some people. There's a low list of uh, herbs that are more relaxants, kind of like your California poppy, uh, your valerians and stuff. You can try those. But... Uh, Acidosis is funny like that, and it can be in the brain and all, all through you, and it just it just agitates, irritates, and everything else. Told me in the past to try, oh, I'm Valerian, California, probably hops, and I did. After six months, I am still not sleeping. You try your pineal gland then? On most nights, I might get two hours of sleep. Ugh. Well, it has to be coming from upstairs then, probably, Bo, up in the head area, just maybe stagnant lymph not moving out. I still take herbs from insomnia, but I tried even melatonin, which is not helping at all. I wouldn't do the melatonin, but you might try the pineal itself. Try a pineal glandular. And do two two capsules before you go to bed at night. It's worked with a lot of people. But again, there's homeopathics. Brenda got some new stuff in here for that. You might call her up, uh, ask for Brenda, and ask tell her, Bo, you have insomnia. And that I said that uh, she got some new formulas to help you. There's some homeopathics she got in that's very helpful and works well. So let's see if we can find the right one for for you and uh, while you're detoxing and getting up in there in the head upper circulation and brain and nerve would be two formulas that I would think would be important both for you to use for a while get up here and move lymph and move blood but moving lymph up here would definitely have to clean up the bowels and have to clean up the kidneys and everything simultaneously or there is no moving lymph now moving lymph is a adrenal kidney uh, issue basically and getting those two areas cleaned up uh, real important uh, I know. See, here's the problem, Bo. I can't find pineal gland without melatonin. We have that, but I tell you, it's it's a problem with a lot of these labs. They they put stuff like that in there. I don't want melatonin. We we don't want the steroid or hormone. That's why we're going to glandulars. Hello, but I would I still think by now glandulars should be in medical doctors' hands. We had to take them. I'll tell you this. We had to take them off the pharmacy ordering line because really I. I the glandulars are actually practitioner uh, use only, to be honest with you. And um, they make you sign things and agree to things. And so uh, maybe some companies don't care. Okay, uh, I personally don't find the glandulars to be uh, an issue that needs a practitioner behind them. So I've always made them more freely available to you. because, But they do have to come through me as a practitioner. So I figure it's doing that. I'm recommending them. Uh, used them for years, so but they're practitioner based only. But with that said, uh, we uh, we use them here, and if you need them, we use them. If you don't, we we don't. It's just whatever you want in that way. And I'm so tired and exhausted. I bet you are, sweetheart. I don't know. I, I don't know. Get up on your fast. That's what relaxes you the most. Uh, get up on some of these fruits and berries and melons. Stay away from the acid ones. Get up in the upper circ, braid anew. Try try a, 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 a glandular without. We have it without melatonin. So that'll help. Because melatonin is no way to go. Never take these uh, these uh, uh, hormones or steroids. I, I mean, that has to be a real emergency and a temporary use only. And um, it's hard to get good pineal glandulars. No kidding. And, and then they put melatonin. That's why I tell you, some of these labs, these biochemists, they're crazy. Uh, so I need to find something else. I am so tired. Call Brenda, please. Uh, she's got some homeopathics there. See if they can help you there. Uh, I, I feel for you, honey. Just keep detoxifying deep, deep, deep. Get a hold of Brenda. Try some new products. It's, when it comes to homeopathics and herbal formulas, um, you know, once in a while, some doesn't work on a person. They got to find another one. I've seen that before. So just keep trying to find that magic formula for you. We have some Chinese formulas here and stuff like that. Definitely coming out from the central nervous system, in my opinion. And you could just have autonomic nerve weakness uh, that all your, your myelin sheaths are weak from the weak adrenals, blah, 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 blah. Therefore, acidosis sets up agitation, and therefore you have restlessness. And that is highly probable in your case. You also might have the, uh, just like you are talking about earlier, have a chiropractor check the upper spine and everything. Make sure you're all aligned and everything. That might be helpful too. 
uh, that sort of thing. Keep working in that way. Uh, start expectorating in every way. Sauna, so uh, uh, massage the lymph drainage to the heart, to the kidneys, uh, all of this, and just keep moving that body out and these acids out and getting that that base in there, and and that'll that'll settle things down. But that's all I all the advice I can give you because there's nothing else. If you have to go to Ambien or something. You know, but I'd rather see you get some decent rest and take a pharmaceutical for a short period of time than to stay like this because this level of not sleeping and stress it can be harmful in, in that way. It can keep you from moving your length because you're always stressed, your kidneys are stressed, the adrenals are stressed. So let's see if we can find a way, Bo, to help you here. Here's a good case where you can assume a pituitary problem. All his glands appear to be down. Now one other one is down. He lost his ability to sleep. The pineal gland, your third eye, the tisratil, as they call it, it's down. He can't sleep. So this young man needs to get on some glandulars. I mean, I hate to say that, but this is a case because this is going to be a chronic case here for him. Really get those kidneys and adrenals moving. Go after the pituitary, go after the thyroid, parathyroid, and I would, if it was me, I'm going to take at least uh, a couple of uh, pineal gland uh, uh, glandulars, uh, at least two capsules before I go to bed, at least an hour before I go to bed, and see if I can trip this up. You need to try to get a good cold and flu-like symptom. The diet is essential. You need to be all raw, and and, and at least 85 or, or 80 percent of that fruits, berries, and melons. She suffers from insomnia, periods of depression, so insomnia. We all know that's the pineal gland. The bouts of depression, now that's the parathyroid gland. She's not utilizing calcium. Oh, also, she's unusually cold. All right, so that's thyroid. So here we go. We got thyroid. We got parathyroid. We got uh, pineal gland here. Now, so we know your lymph system. Of course, you got a lump on the side of the neck. So guess what your brain's full of? <laughs> yeah, lymph stagnation, sweetheart. Betty, get your butt moving or moving your limbs. Cold this winter. Don't let that stop you, sweetheart. Move those limbs. You don't want your head to stay like that. Pick up your thyroid, parathyroid. Uh, I mean, if you want something for the insomnia, hit a pineal gland thing. But head on. She's, uh, let me see her periods are off. Well, yeah, now we're out to the pituitary. So we got all the endocrine glands in the head down. So you know, because you've had years of eczema, what this really means to you. You guys are getting this, and Betty, this means your lymph system. You've had all your life to clog yourself up. Now you're learning the true sweetheart. Tear it apart. Get your lymph to moving, because you've got to detoxify your head. You need some cold and flu-like symptoms. Go out and hug everybody that's sick. Go out in the cold weather with nude. I don't care. Get your body to move in that lymph, because... This, this is a vital that you do this, okay? You don't want brain lesions, brain cancer, or any of the other multitudes of things that happen to you from the neck up. Again, as I said, you don't want to take hormones, steroids, neurotransmitters. It's not, it's not worth what you have to then do when, when, when the glands stop performing for you. It's not worth it because you have to do the same thing that you'd have to do now. So why wait? Because it just makes things worse. You know, I tend to be a little lazy now and then, uh, but uh, yeah, get into this and, and stop taking melatonin. Then take a glandular for the pineal gland, or just eat a lot of berries, you know, but, and move your lymph, because there's a reason that pineal gland is suppressed and you're not resting. And that would, wouldn't be a blood problem, but you can always take upper circulation to throw blood up into the head, and then take, get, move your lymph. You can push blood and clean lymph. You can't lose because those are the two things that ultimately contact every cell, including pineal gland tissue and, and the like. So go after those things. And yes, it will suppress your gland's ability to make it if you keep taking it. So go that way and move your lymph and it'll just relax you down.